Hey there, I'm Rachel with Everyday Good Looks and today I'm going to show you how to curl your hair with the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer. It's one of my favorite hair tools and it's really easy to curl your hair with it. So stay tuned and all products that we are using in the video are linked in the description below and make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Have you ever wondered whether you could curl your hair with the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer? I have. I have figured out a way to do it that's really easy. The first thing you do is get your hair mostly dry. I took a shower and put this microfiber turban on my hair while I got dressed and did my makeup. I also blow dried it a little bit, especially at the roots. If the roots are wet, the curling won't work as well and the top will appear pasted to the head instead of full of body. Put some type of curling hair product in your hair. Today I'm using Curls Rock Amplifier by TG. Rub it into the roots and then down to the ends and then fluff it up and get it worked through the hair thoroughly. Section the hair into upper and lower sections using a hinged claw clip. So this is kind of a funny looking technique that I learned when I was obsessed with beachy waves and the perfect curling iron to achieve that messy, undone, windblown look. And I think I've achieved it with this concept. It will last in the hair for two to three days too. And it takes less than 15 minutes from start to finish. It's really easy to do. You just need to make sure not to get the curls you've already done wound up when you're doing a new curl. Simply section your hair in one inch sections. Round brush the hair in all directions to warm it up and get it pliable. Your hair should be very slightly damp at this point and the roots should be completely dry. Next, hold the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer vertically on the low setting. You can use the high setting, but put some heat protectant on your hair first because you will smell burning hair. <laughs> Take your one inch section and twist quickly over and over until your hair is twisted almost like a dreadlock. Slow down when you get to the ends of the hair to allow the curl to unravel a bit. Release, set aside, and let cool. Continue that process, alternating the direction you've curled the hair until you've twisted all of it. Let's speed this up so you can watch it quickly. Remember to separate the curls you've already done from the ones you will do. Also, you can do bigger sections for looser curls if you want. Or you can spray in some sea salt spray later to loosen the curls. I think this technique would be great for traveling so you don't have to pack multiple hair tools. I basically can't live without this one step hair dryer. It's so great and makes blow drying and styling my hair so much easier. I am terrible at round brushing and this takes the frustration out of it and gives me tons of volume. After you're done twisting, use a regular blow dryer on warm and low speed. Make sure the curls are completely dry, then do a cold shot to set them. This helps them stay in longer. And then using your fingertips or a wide tooth comb, work out the twists one by one until you've gone through all the hair. It's that easy. To add some body at the roots, I've applied some root lifter. And if you have a lot of flyaways, you can add some hairspray. 
You can add some shine into the hair by using this Kerastase hair oil. It's one of my favorite hair products and is so versatile and helps keep your ends nice and healthy. That's all for today's tutorial, how to curl your hair with the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer. As mentioned before, all links are in the description below. If you have any questions, make sure to post a comment and I'd be happy to answer. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching. Thank you.